Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900 start. It is August 1933 and we are at war with both France and Italy for 24 months. Actually one month is now missing because I started a stream and the, played the first month when the, the internet broke down and it is still broken down. That is one of the glories of living in Panama, that this is happening and it's happening somewhat frequently. So I'm now just recording it on my computer, um, being offline, but usually those games are streamed. So in this case now there won't be any comments. Usually there are because of the interaction with the viewers. If you yourself want to join in, just um, come visit me on Twitch. I'm playing other games there as well. So let's go back to the game. In the, this one month, not that much happened. The um, There were some... Uh, I started sending ships to the Mediterranean and they had a first battle that was just against a convoy though, which um, meant only transport ships from the French side were lost for no own loss and no military ships lost on their side. So just some victory points gained and unfortunately Sardinia fell to the Italians. So we are now back to only roads in the Mediterranean after having lost Libya and Sardinia. Um, with the French Navy almost, uh, almost no longer in existence, we are now able to shift forces to the Mediterranean. But um, the Italians have a very good naval force there. A very numerous one, whether it's good, let's check it here. I mean, those battle cruisers look pretty decent. 15 inch, a lot of 15 inch battle cruisers. Um, the armor is a question. I can't see uh, um, deck armor in these informations here, but 12 and a half inch belt is a lot. So taking them out won't be that easy. But we'll have to try. I mean, currently we're winning and the first battleships are coming online. So with some luck, we'll be able to deal some blows to the uh, Italians and which will hopefully allow us to take naval superiority in the Mediterranean as well so we can start reconquering what we've lost because I would really like to not only gain back Sardinia and Libya but also gain more like Sicily, Corsica and maybe French North Africa. <coughs> but that's somewhat in the front, uh, somewhat ahead, and we'll have to see whether the politicians agree to continuing the war. But in general, if I'm somewhat careful against the superior forces in the Mediterranean, I think I can be confident because the quality of my ships is better. But as we see, currently I only have four battle cruisers and three battleships against four and fourteen. So, yeah. Then need, I need to be careful there. So let's just continue. So the army failed in their offensive. Some information about enemy ships. Better 13 inch guns, that's not really that important. Let's see. Private venture, shorter range, basically equal speed. It's tougher, but shorter range, no. I need range. One Corvette sunk. Augsburg has been hit but survived. Heinrich II has been hit six months. That is a long time, but at least she survived. Okay, cruiser battle. Okay, those are the French battle cruisers still available. They refuse Italian coastal raid. Interesting. So let's see what we can find here. We have no carriers ready. speed up and hope weather limits air operations the bad thing is apparently strong gale doesn't allow for oh wait they have launched now okay so the the, <coughs> the land-based aviation apparently still is able to start even though i don't see any or do i actually only have planes here i don't know well, let's see. 
just continue. Oh, it's getting dark too. Okay. Kind of iffy. I hate those battles where I have no clue wh where the enemy force might be. So I'll just cruise around here and waste the time and hope for by some miracle I'm running into them. But currently there doesn't seem to be much hope. If my <coughs> fleet is starting to head up here, that would have usually you would expect the, the Italian fleet to be on a, on a course where both fleets are meeting. So I, he had to, I think he has to have started somewhere here and was moving eastwards. That is the only explanation for those starting positions. But as we see, we're still in, okay, we're still in ultra fast. So, so far, no close connections, but we see here those, I guess those are the Zeppelins, probably. <coughs> well, no spotting whatsoever, so, uh, as of now. Still ultra fast, time will run out very soon. Well. That's fine too, because if I haven't lost a freighter, which I shouldn't, I think. Okay, now suddenly we have a spotting, but I think time will run out before I can close in. Let's see. Yep. And we lost a um, submarine, that's unfortunate. Too bad, would have been nice to sink that one if I had found it. Carlo Alberto. But I can't force it. Let me see, Carlo Alberto. Where is it there? 10, 13 inch, so not a very strong one, but still one less is one less, or would have been one less. Okay, Heinrich the second was here, six months, that's a lot. Um, what are those doing? So apparently that one wasn't finished but we should get up to four next turn. Okay, not much happening. Let's just continue. Perfect, all four. Enemy submarine down. Erebus nicht, so my follower on Twitch has sunk, too bad not even in a glorious fight against in, in a naval battle well nothing i can do there sorry man but that's the fate of um, being a, a destroyer you can end up like this now i here i'm quite in a pickle i need to sink two ships but i guess i'll have i will face enemy um, planes very soon and that is a problem because I highly doubt that the AA of them is, is capable of taking them. Um, I can't possibly expect that to be successful. Okay, so first one is down. Let's go back to 20 knots so that one can get up, catch up. Let's look for another ship. And as soon as we have it, which we might have it here, we will run away. This is just a good point. I'm not looking for a naval battle, not for a decisive encounter. I want to get away without being sunk by enemy planes. So hopefully this will work. I'm somewhat wondering why the Karlsruhe is staying so far, this far back. Um, could you guys please kill one of them? Yeah, that one is nice though. Can you kill him, please? Could you please? Yes, that looks good. Okay, good. One more down here. Let's just continue forward. Good. Down to 20 knots. Let them catch up. And then I think we're just 
going to run southeast or somewhere. Okay, that one is down too. Speed up. And he has rescued a foot. Yeah, no, they're coming. Okay, so far, I think no hits from what I see. But I need to. I mean, the more of them, the better because the AA, the anti aircraft, adds up. But what is the Strasbourg doing? Can you please tell me what you're doing here? It's like. Um, to full speed you guys stay at 20 knots and then I want you to catch up okay so that submarine has hit something which is nice and the Strasbourg Strasbourg is closing in Come on, come on. Yep, that's it. No, let's just speed up and hope we're not being caught by another air, air attack. Uh, and the submarine has hit something again. That's nice. Some of them might actually go down. Some of those hit. So in this regard, unless I lose one of the cruisers, it should be a clear win, even though not a decisive in any ways. Perfect. Four ships sunk, which means that um, the submarine has actually sunk one. Mine haven't taken any damage. Perfect. Good outcome. And the battle was over pretty fast as well, so no waste of time. Okay. <clears throat> that actually we can break off. We aren't we don't have superior forces and it's just eating away five million a month. Italy is I can't even see how many points. No, this must be Italy. Two hundred and forty nine. I'm at hundred and ninety. Um how about the base? Yeah, they are still continuing. Okay, so those ships are now working up. Let's activate them. Even though they are poor, they should be pretty helpful with 28 knots. And you guys go to the Mediterranean as well. Now we have 14 million surplus and we're getting two more. I think it's about time to design a new heavy, a new carrier, a new fleet carrier. we want dual purpose obviously we want not 59 that's a bad joke we want deck edge lift and 98 over 100 there's a penalty I don't know how big it is but and I don't like it the uneven number that's just like me having OCD or something so I, I always those ships I always give it 98 and then obviously is too many planes for a ship with only 22,000 tons. So we will go up and I think 32 should be the maximum size. Uh, actually, they don't even complain yet. What was it here? Dual purpose mounting for a caliber of that gun. I can't have dual purpose, probably not. not um, double turrets, right? Yeah, now everything is okay. Actually, more than 32,000 tons is possible. Okay. But I think um, 30 knots is more than enough. That armor is okay, too. I mean, I could always improve something, but... And I don't have um, catapults yet, right? Yep. Because that would decrease the, uh, that wouldn't force the carriers to turn into the wind, which means that if they are chased by, 
enemy enemy ships they could still launch planes without any issues which would obviously be extremely helpful and let's increase AA now we still have 800 left that's very good we can actually go to those can I do no okay that, so that was the issue let's go up here to 30 to 24 as well that means we'll have to reduce the light and the air and we still have 600 ton surplus and that is more than enough that means we will be able to like upgrade those turrets and I'm just gonna leave it as this now this isn't Peter Strasser is a very good name too but um, I think I'm gonna name it after the battlecruiser I know those three battleships that are cancelled Gerhard Johann David von Schaun Okay. Mm, yeah, a little lower. A little lower rate of fire, but that's fine. Ships are being built to that. What? What? Ah, because it has the same name. Okay. I see. Um. Okay, so I'll just cancel his, his other given names and just leave it like this and everything should be fine. Okay, perfect. Now we can cancel that one already. Now let's wait till the design is done. It doesn't hurt to have him running there and we could actually increase the size of the dockyards. I don't think I'm going to need dockyards this big anytime soon. But it won't hurt to have them. Okay, two more, and we hope that peace isn't coming yet. Perfect. Blockade still on France. France Corvette going down. One of our Corvettes went down. Sunk w another one sunk by a mine. Trade war going in their favor. Cruiser battle. Yeah, let's accept. They decline. Perfect. Convoy attack. Okay, so the French have hardly any ships. Now this is large, Italy and Libya. The only problem is it's off their coast. So I will face their, sh their planes, I'm afraid. And I know I do have more than one carrier. Can the carrier Division 11 follow Division 2? No, they can't. Okay, too bad. What is this? These are more battleships and they are all... Oh, I hate this. Why, do, why does it start several ships on top of each other? That wouldn't be necessary. But okay. So this is 419. Okay, let's probably just go here. 9 is supposed to be the lead division. So 14, we go here and status. So you follow 9. Perfect. You follow 14. Mm, yes. Okay. Carrier division, battle division, another battle division. But one that is separate here. And I don't think I can order them. No. I can't order them to follow any of those. And I think, yeah, I can't move the ownership of the, the those here so I'll have to control them manually anyways well oh, not that bad not that horrible we can handle that okay let's hope wait well, we could check that lock entries no this here Italy has two light carriers in service that's all so my I should have naval superiority uh, um, superiority in planes unless those uh, airfields are built up insanely big which I doubt and I actually have to go for a bombardment target okay oh where do they spot something down here yeah we can I think we can actually start the first airstrike 
somewhere down here. This could actually work. Okay, launch a strike. Dusk. Yeah, I don't care. You start. Because um, currently I have torpedo bombers, but apparently it's going dark. So I might lose a few planes, which means that the quality of the pilots might suffer. But if they are able to strike something because of that, even I, I, that's a price worth taking. So I don't care. Strike and strike as soon as the other ones are launched you all go will go, just go up as well okay so here are battle cruisers and they're going like east okay the problem is if i face them at night it's a gamble a complete gamble once more i think my sh navy should be trained like i always do torpedo and no night attack and uh, gunnery so at night I might have some advantage. Okay, carry attack on my uh, air attack on my carriers. Uh, no bomb hits. No bomb hits. Okay, that's fine. Approaching battle division and some of our attack enemy planes. Uh, no hit, no hit, uh, I don't think there has been any bomb hit, more attacks, okay, Mecklenburg avoiding torpedoes, hit by one, hit by a second one, uncomfortable, um, where is the Mecklenburg? Yeah, ooh, that's significant damage already. Ah, uh, well. Friedrich the second now hit. Not good. And the damage is, I mean, th that damage can be managed. The problem is if it adds up. That is the issue. Both of those ships should survive not if they are keeping hit and if I have to slow them down obviously they will be hit okay so one torpedo hit from my planes at least so it's somewhat disappointing but it might be that they are attacking destroyers and they are obviously very hard to hit so unless I found they find that a battle cruiser or something the Italians will have an advantage And from what I, if I see here, they are attacking and attacking and not achieving hits. And I don't think my carrier pilots are this bad. Okay, now two hits. Which means that they are not attacking battleships or battle cruisers. At least that's what I expect this to mean. Okay, carrier, what do we have here? Now um, the other carriers, yeah. actually, oh they still have bombers, okay, I don't care, launch at night, uh, it's one, one plane, no, I don't care, if they d die, try, I think those are the planes that have returned from airstrikes. Okay. One more hit, that's good. And another hit, nice. But now now we are probably reaching a point where they're bombing a wreck a wreck. Yeah, too many hits now. Yeah, that sounds a little bit like they are bombing the wreck. So, unless, I mean, unless I've been lucky and they found carriers, uh, um, battle cruisers. Okay, I need to keep those somewhere here. 
and as soon as it, it is night I think I'm gonna have them run away north I need to check on the damaged ships as well Mecklenburg how are you doing I guess okay-ish Friedrich Der Dritte is okay-ish too Dusk is coming. So I need to strike a bombardment target. And I, let me guess, it's behind a minefield, so I have to wait until morning probably. Which means that I need to keep the, the carrier somewhat close, regardless of my initial plans. Because I doubt that I'm able to spot the bombardment target from this far away. Okay, night has come. The other issue is it's it's 24 months now, or 25 I think, which means there's a really a shitload of enemy minefields. So charging my fleet close to this is not a good idea and ignoring sightings like this is not a good idea either okay so we are we have found an enemy fleet and they are pretty agile that almost hit Friedrich der Dritte so you guys go to top speed which is impossible okay enemy CA has been hit perfect okay can you go to top speed you are probably again with some, yeah, very slow ships. Mecklenburg, no flooding though. Do I need it? Wait, there's a CV? God damn it. Yeah, I think I need to split them up and take manual control. Because only then will I be able to use the full speed. Square. You go down here, but I have to take care. It's the um, Friedrich, which has been hit. So you go down here, you go down here, you charge in here. Friedrich can take additional flooding if I just have it continue. I need to make sure I'm not torpedo too hard. Okay, you turn on there. You charge over there, you are doing 25 knots, okay. You guys are doing 28, okay. And that's CV, if it is one, whatever it is, it's slowing down. Okay, actually one of their light carriers, which should be sinking, yep. Okay, go back to the battle cruisers. Kurfürst has been hit by a torpedo. How is he doing? Okay. Need to be careful. He's not taking any additional flooding. I need to take a chance here, I guess. That one has, yeah, rather jammed. Okay. So let's detach. <coughs> let's detach that one. So I can hunt them with the other one. And you can, I don't know, go down to and knots because while your rubber rudder is jammed you're useless anyways okay he's turning so we can go back to square max and that one is stopped perfect okay. it's a battle cruise and it's already taken out um, 15 inch gun, 3, it, yeah, it's not a bad ship, I mean, turrets are well armored too, the deck could be stronger, but apart from that, not a ship that should be taken lightly, but if it's hidden in the magazine and blows up, obviously, that's to my benefit. Okay, so I need to be careful. You are not taking flooding, 
somebody's taking shooting at him okay um, you guys are going down here you are still following that route that's as intended carriers are up here okay the problem is if the carriers are surprised by I don't know destroyers at night that might very well happen yeah identified as a light carrier need to be careful here that is no that's a battleship Roma okay Roma 10 15 inch two and a half inch deck that's not too much but those have good guns and I think if they get into range we should end the Roma pretty fast. Okay, that's a DD. Can he twerk from there? No, he can't. Now he can. Uh, probably only the Friedrich. And I think the Roma should already be slowing down. Okay, let's turn out a little, just to make sure. You guys follow. And you guys go like here. I have no idea whether you can right now because currently they are still taking um, planes on board that are coming back from the strikes and we see so far we're hitting him good with 16 and 15 inch guns the Roma should be yeah in trouble pretty soon and the Friedrich is has taken a second torpedo so 10 knots sharp turn to the north and we're running away probably from the Roma to submerged might be or this might also be not a carrier uh, but a cruiser that has launched torpedoes that might also be an option perfect Roma is already going down okay now let's hunt that CVL and um, I think after that I'll probably actually move north. Okay, it's actually a light carrier. And I think they only have two, right? Yep, so both of them are sunk now. Okay, two battle cruisers down, two light carriers. And I don't see a point why I should go on a wild goose chase if I don't even know where what is. This is, wait, what is visual range? Sighting range, main gun range. So sighting range is this, no chance of spotting this. So I have to stick around there in the mine infested area because there will be minefields around here. I have to stick around there for the whole night, either stationary where his um, destroyers might appear or cruising around where the longer I spend, the more likely it is to run into a minefield. just to to shoot that target nope my goal is i i kind of if i lose some victory points because suddenly this is considered to be a loss as i haven't destroyed the bombardment target i can i'm i'm fine with that i've taken out two battle cruisers and both their light carriers perfect to me that's a perfect outcome especially if i can avoid losing any of the battleships that have taken damage so i'm just gonna retire uh, retreat go to 10 knots so ships that have taken some damage don't take additional damage and now we're just going to go slowly to run away and I still don't know which which ships they hit the aircraft hit they might even have taken out another battle cruiser or something uh, I shouldn't hope for that but I mean there have been a lot of hits in, le in the end which were definitely hits on a very slow wait 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 on a very slow ship and here we here we come more customers okay that's fine too with me um, you go here what wait Friedrich der Zweite yep okay Friedrich der Kurfürst he, he is still fine enough too I guess you have the Mecklenburg here. 
Yeah, whatever. Mecklenburg is one of the older ones. In worst case, she can go down. Friedrich the Dritte, on the other hand, yeah, he's going to retreat. Um, yeah, just somewhere north. Now it would be nice if my destroyers did a good job on them. Yeah, like this. Oh, nice. Three hits. One of them. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's 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 just beautiful. Okay. And one more hit. Okay, those are there even more coming in, okay. Friedrich Wilhelm the third is being hit. Which is this one here. Okay. What are you guys doing alone here? It's one of the new ones. Okay. Guess we just having a nice brawl here. I guess. Um, I mean, you know what? I'm actually gonna try to launch another set of airstrikes. I have no idea how effective those are going to be. But why the hell shouldn't I try? They'll be somewhere around here. If they're able to find them, I don't care about the loss. I mean, it w it's nice to have the high, tr highly trained crews, which obviously means more hits. But if I'm able, if I'm actually just able to to hit the the enemy battle cruisers with two or three torps, it should already be a significant victory. Come on, destroyers, do something. That will be fantastic. first oh three torpedo heads damn it where is he that's where are those if i see those torpedoes then they are probably friendly ones so you geniuses have torped the own ship genius That Italia is stopping, that Roma is stopping. That battle cruiser I think is still moving. Yeah. So you guys go after him. How about you? You look pretty unhealthy. And ramming him? No. Okay. Um I think you you are going. Yeah, the flooding is too high. So that is this one here which group is he division detach why can't i detach him um battle division oh yeah i need to go here and then i need to detach him like this detach yeah i control let's take it away 10 knots so no additional flooding damage hopefully how about this guy? Is he still moving? No, he isn't. Perfect. Move down. Go move down here. And maybe we can take that one too. That would be nice. I mean, with the ships I've sunk already, I could even take a loss or two. That wouldn't be a complete disaster. Even though, obviously, I want to avoid it. Okay, so those are all taken out. You are fleeing. Um, need to check here, by the way. Just to make sure none of them is being spotted because it's mi I miss it through all the messages here. But so far, uh, 
Let's say it's looking decently. That is kind of dangerous. How many torpedoes? Two submerged. Okay. That's not too. That's actually one from 1900. They've kept that guy in service. Impressive. Duck torpedo. Well, that's nice. That's luck. Um, that was probably from one of the submerged ones, so I don't need to fear anything of that anymore. At least if I'm not wrong. Nope. I had to fear something more. No, that's a different one again. Okay. okay so this one they are shooting. This one they are shooting as well. Can you guys actually take out that Conte di Cavour? That would be nice. Yes, it looks like they're taking a lot. Look at all those hits. Well, the Venezia definitely won't serve another 30 years. And the Cayo Duyo has been taken out, I think. Braunschweig being hit. Another hit, I think. Wasn't he already? In, or was it Mecklenburg? I don't know. Anyways, one hit is fine, I think. Um, Braunschweig, 38, yeah. Let's take him down to 10 knots. But leave them in the area. I think they are still decently combat capable. That guy, though, is taking... <laughs> it's Willem the second again, of course. <laughs> That guy is starting to take serious damage. Uh, let's take him down to 10 knots as well. But those are taken out. Okay, this might probably be destroyers again. Nope, another battle cruiser. And we are hitting him, and we are hitting him hard. But that is like that is another threat of torpedoes here. So where are we going? It's highly risky. The problem is, I, if I turn away too far, I'm going to lose sight, and I don't really want that. So yeah. more torpedo hits. So this one here and this one obviously. Damage is adding up but still somewhat under control. Yes. Okay. So we're trying we will try to take out the Roma here and there comes the next one. How am I supposed to re retreat with my ships if, if more and more targets are charging in all the time? That's really challenging just to control your read if you are able to take out one after the other. Kayoduyo is like the least dangerous, the least worthy price. This one is a lot better. So we're gonna stick with the Roma. Wilhelm the Friedrich Wilhelm the Fourth is being hit again. Now it's becoming critical. Okay. He has to detach no no point in avoiding that. Down to 10 knots. Sharply north. Okay, you charge after that rover. Those guys are coming down. And he's blown up. Okay. Um, you guys go here because there was this old battleship of them. Um, what do we have here? It's the carriers, yeah. Carriers are... Wait, do, did they launch the airstrikes? Yeah, those are them. Nice. I wonder if they find something that isn't sunk yet. But ten, 10 airstrikes going in. So, yeah. I have no idea what they're attacking. Probably just wrecks. But it's definitely worth a try. I don't think. Yeah. 
Like, did I see anything here? I don't think so. Which means that if I hadn't, yeah. If there wasn't a battleship that I had damaged. Okay, we'll have another hit. Enemy ship. So it was on a DD. The idea was what I thought was um, if I haven't spotted a ship here lately, then I hoped for it to be a significant target. But this is oh, bad enough, good enough, I guess. And you are going home as well. No point in threatening your existence beyond any reasonable amount okay, so they are attacking a destroyer oh that's fine too i would prefer them to attack the what was it kayo duyo the one the first is being hit where here okay so that destroyer probably was able or maybe it was an air launched one you never know those maniacs Where they spotted him. Something is here. I have done split. That would be. Yeah, it's that one here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just a wreck. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's let's just go. I have no idea how many ships I sunk by now. But I guess it was more than enough. 10 knots, perfect. You can go down to 10 as well. Oh, you can go to cruise. Do you have flooding? Yes, you have. So you're going to 10. And run north. And you're going to 10. Okay, now let's hope that we're getting away with everything. That would be nice. Oh, there was something. Should we look for it? I guess we should, because we're greedy bastards. Let's see. Yeah, that's just here, this guy. Irrelevant, that's a wreck. Okay. Okay, whatever. You go back to 10 knots and head north. Sites and unknown ship here. Oh, the Goon. Fuck, I forgot uh, one of the carriers apparently. Mm, yeah. Okay, that is rather slow though. No idea what it is. But we are going around it hopefully and running away. And you guys are going this way as well. Time is still though that I'm probably be able to do more airstrikes soon. If I stay close enough, that's the question. But on the other hand, they will probably enter port. We're just going to go away. You see, have they actually found another battle cruiser? Okay, well, I don't know for sure. I don't mind them hitting it with a with a torpedo. If it is true, I don't know whether there's fog of war as well. But so far, I mean, the question is, will I lose a ship through flooding? I think with them all being down to 10 knots and now all moving away, so less danger of minefields, l l more and more I'm getting away from potential surprise attack. Okay, 
this guy is now suddenly finding someone here. Wait, could you maybe torpedo that? What is it? A Corvette, okay. What is he doing? This is mission independent. Okay. Well, I don't care. You go and hunt yourself something nice here. If you can. I mean, if I lose it, I don't really care. And for by now, at least, as as for now, he has taken out two corvettes, which is probably not worth the trade of losing him. But why not allow him to hunt a little more? And we all speed up and run away. Three hours till daylight. Still a long way now. Yeah, and I don't really want to charge in and bombard that. I'd rather take the hit on victory points. And as I said, the victory points in this phase aren't that important. Especially not if I'm <laughs> able to take out half the Italian fleet in one go. Well, that is probably a small exaggeration, but three battleships and four battle cruisers taking out and both their light carriers a major victory and i could say that's like close to another uh, lisa because i have even forgot to look forgotten to look but i think i haven't lost a single battleship in this engagement just a little destroyer um losses just a few destroyer losses and that is quite significant so they are down to one battleship now and for 12 Battle cruisers. Yep. Um, they are refitting one, I guess. Sunk ships. So those three and some of those went down. Yeah, some of them quite decent. Two 15 inch, another 15 inch, and another one. Four 15 inch um, battle cruisers. That's a good result, a really good result. We are up to 13 battleships again, thanks to the new six, six new battleships in one go. That's very nice. Okay. I think at this point um, we've reached, let me check now. Yeah, Rhodes is still building. So we've reached a good point to stop this um, episode. As we've seen, the battle went really well in the Mediterranean. The Italian superiority is shrinking drastically. Um, I have a lot of damaged ships now, which will take uh, up to four months to be repaired. But after that, I might actually come close to contest the naval superiority of Italy there. So I'm be able to start invasions of my own. That might be the result of that. Um, we will see uh, in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, please consider following and subscribing both here on YouTube and on Twitch. And if... Um, yeah, if you enjoy it, I hope to see you again. Uh, if you want to comment on it and maybe become a destroyer that gets sunk by a mine without any um, important naval battle, like, um, which one was it? Like Erebus Nicht. Um, you uh, just join me on Twitch when I'm streaming and you'll have a tiny destroyer named after you. So thank you for watching and see you next time.